let's talk about the realities of owning a rooftop tent versus a ground tent. So you definitely have to custom tailor the overlanding experience to your needs. We've had both rooftop and ground tents, and we prefer a ground tent for our current configuration. So the thing about being on the go is that we like the vehicle to remain super mobile. So if you think of a rooftop tent vehicle as a mobile base, you won't be disappointed. Um, once you set up, you're relatively stationary. Now I am talking about the tents that open up like a clamshell. Those are the ones I'm talking about. The ones that, like the James Brood and some other, uh, even Tapui has a new one that is just a pop-up. Those are a little easier to use, but we come in hot late at night, we have, our, uh, we have our dinner, our meal, go to sleep, get up bright and early in the morning, and we're on the go. The other thing is, we like to do trail runs and do a little bit of exploring even after we set up base camp. So we prefer to have a ground tent because we don't have to deploy the tent or pack the tent every time we want to get in the vehicle and go. There are a few more considerations as well. Now, some of those things might include mobility. You might not be as young and spry as a 22-year-old professional snowboarder. And for those who are disabled, it might not even be an option. This is the T4 tent. This thing is long. I had to fold down the seat to put this in the back of the cruiser. Normally, I put it up on the roof rack if we're going on an extended trip because I've got other things in the back here, but this is a pretty fast trip. The T3, which is a three person tent, um, is about like this. And so you can fit it in the back, no problem. It even goes crossways in the cruiser, but this is the larger tent. You can stand up in this tent, no problem at my height, which is arguably 6'1", maybe between six and 6'1", six uh, but I can stand up in this tent, no problem. All right, those are some of the considerations. Um, now we're gonna talk about the characteristics of the Gazelle, and we're also going to put this thing together and we'll show you how fast it is. That's it. All right, let's demonstrate the rain fly separately. You're not gonna put it on every single time, but there are features I really like about it. No strings, no extra poles. Let me show you how that works. All right, we got base camp all set up. 
I'm going to have some dinner and hit the hay. Tomorrow, we'll get up bright and early and we'll walk through some of the features of the Gazelle T410. I got my hat on because it's cold. Had a great night last night. Let's get into the 10 features, but first, coffee. All right, we'll get into some of the specs, but when I watch reviews, I like subjective reviews. A little bit about the product and the experience of using it. So with a tent, it's not like a vehicle. It's not like, yeah, it gets me there reliably. It doesn't break down. The true cost of ownership is low. <laughs> it's not like that, right? Uh, it, my experience using the tent is that it doesn't get in my way or frustrate me which is a positive thing and I haven't broken it yet. So, you know, there are times when I'm trying to set up quickly and I might yank on a zipper and I feel the urge to <laughs> really yank on it, but I stop. Overall, it's been really good. I have had it in really windy situations um, and those windy situations cause the, the, the wall to blow inward because they pop out, right? So they'll also pop in. You don't want that to happen at the middle of the, in the middle of the night. Um, it takes a severe gust of wind to pop that side in, but I have had it happen. The tent comes with um, guide wires so that you can, or rope, so that you can tie in the center of the wall. It has these really good stakes. They're very strong lots of them so comes with their own comes with their own stakes now the other thing that I'll I'll say about the tent is that all the all the parts most of the parts are replaceable so you can head to the website and you can see which parts are replaceable but in the event that some something happens and and something gets broken you don't have to buy a whole new tent you can contact Gazelle and they'll send you just the part and they even have them on their website. So uh, that means you're going to get lots of use out of the tent um, for years to come. And again, you know, between $230 and $300 for the tent, it, it's, it's big bang for buck. It's a lot of value. Now, I did one bonehead maneuver and that was to yank up on the tent like this with a stake in the corner. I mean, I really pulled on it and I yanked it up and I ripped, <laughs> I ripped the tab off the corner. So, you know, just be smart when you're using it and uh, you, you'll get, you'll get good, good use out of the tent. It's been great. Two kids, two adults and a dog. Well, kind of a dog, he's that big. All right, specs, let's get into specs. In terms of dimensions of the capacity, it sleeps four and a dog, depending on the size of your dog. The collapsed size in the bag is eight inches by eight inches by 67.5 inches. The weight is 30 pounds and it comes with 12 stakes. So it has ample stakes. The floor space is 61 uh, square feet. The height is 78 inches when set up. Uh, the, the floor size is 94 inches by 94 inches and it's got two doors. Hey, one thing that's pretty cool is that you've got a door like this on both sides of the tent. Watch, it's magic. That's pretty cool. Okay, this, uh, this net on the top of course you can use it as a basket but the other cool thing is any one of these corners comes apart and you can hang a lantern here just like this
you've got lots of storage inside the tent. These uh, larger nets where you can store a jacket or what have you are on two sides of the tent. These pockets, you've got four of those, one on each side of the tent, and that's super handy. And then in terms of windows, you've got six windows and two doors on the tent. So quite a bit of ventilation and light. Those are real nice. Okay, one of the coolest things about the tent is that the floor is Velcroed around the sides. So that comes in super handy if you want to sweep your tent out or if something should happen to the bottom of your tent. Like I said, the parts, you can order the parts separately. So if you tear the, the bottom of the tent somehow, you could order just the bottom and replace it. The other thing is that this is up the side of the tent by about six inches, so you don't have to worry about water ingress where this Velcro seam is. And that Velcro is, is super tight. Uh, it's super Velcro or something. I don't know what they use, but it, it's really good. It really sticks. All right, now I'm gonna set this up so you guys can get a good look at the interior of the tent. Boom. The shell material is 210 density coated polyester. It's an Oxford polyester, which has a stronger weave um, and it's waterproof with a coating for greater resistance to UV. It's got a UV 50 plus rating. The floor material is a heavier duty 300D Oxford weave. And again, it's got better strength and durability than just a standard weave. It's for heavy, uh, heavier duty fabrics. The inside dimension is 78 inches, which is plenty of room to move around freely. Uh, the hub design assembles in about 90 seconds. Although if you're in a race, you could probably do it faster. And it's got the, uh, the, the strong YKK zippers. The floor is removable, and also it's got removable gear loft and two side storage pockets. The Rainfly, of course, as you saw, is also removable. All right, we got a few uh, cool things for you. I hope that you found the conversation about rooftop tent versus ground tent useful and the review of this Gazelle T4 tent. And we also have a gear we use section over on the website. That's cool for you because you know that the Overland Bound community has vetted any of the gear that's in there. It's gonna be a good value for your money and it's gonna last. So go over and check out what we have in the gear we use section. We have the Gazelle tent in there. If you happen to be an Overland Bound member, you get the best price on the internet, plus you get free shipping in the 50 states. So that alone pays for an Overland Bound membership, so go and check it out. If you liked this review, please hit the subscribe button. If you hit that little bell, you'll be notified of upcoming videos. It really helps us out, and we do four things. We do rig walk around so that you can get inspiration for your own builds. We do gear reviews, we do trip videos, and we do interviews from super experienced people. So stick around, check it out, and until next time, get out there on the trail, outfit, explore, and we'll see you soon.